Hey everybody, I'm just relaxing here and I feel the Lord pushing me to grab my Bible, right? And uh, so I pick it up and I go to turn to the New Testament and I am taken to a scripture in Zechariah. So let's look at it. It's Zechariah 8 verses 6 through 9. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if it will be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, saith the Lord of hosts? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. In truth and in righteousness, in truth and in righteousness, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong. Ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. We are that temple. Okay, so what I just, I mean, literally just dropped on me. I was listening to something, something else and wow. So the Lord's been speaking to me about the prophets and I am a prophet um, and I didn't want, I don't like talking about that. And the Lord's like, no, it's time for you to come out. And what he's saying here to me, what he was, he's been uh, saying in my spirit is that the prophets are going to be as the prophets of old. So the prophets are going to be as bold they're not going to be attached and controlled by the church. They're not going to be uh, compromised in any way, shape, or form. And those who are truly hearing from God will be unified. There, are, there are, were prophets in the Bible who were moved by who was in charge. They were, they were um, you know, they kowtowed to the leadership. A true prophet's not going to do that. The only voice you hear is God's, and the only word you speak is God's. So he's talking about the prophets, but he's talking about something more here, which got me excited. He said, is this going to be marvelous in my, in, in my eyes? Because as it's marvelous in the eyes of the remnant. And if you remember, the Lord showed me his hand and he said, I'm holding back the gates of hell for the remnant. If you know me, you know, I've shared that vision. And then he says, I will save my people from, <laughs> it blew my mind, from the East country. So, we have enemies, east and west. They are the red dragon who are in cahoots with the vipers of our own country and the countries around us. God is done tolerating it. He's done. He's, we are calling out for him and to him. And he's saying, if it's good and marvelous in your eyes, it'll be good and marvelous in mine. And I will do this thing and I will save my people from them. We know who they are. And the Lord's telling us here, and I've been teaching on spiritual warfare forever and doing this special series on good dog of spiritual warfare. And we've been really having such a blast with this because God is just ultimately leading the whole thing. We're just kind of following him. But um, he's saying, be sh let your hands be strong. Ye that hear in these days, what's the one thing that people can't hear today? Truth. They can't hear truth. The media hides it. Um, the school systems haven't been teaching it. The judicial systems have been not have been being false and, and falsifying evidence against people and doing things. Our politicians have not been truthful. I can go on and on and on, and I'm sure you guys can too. So, those that can hear in these days, by the words, by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid. Don't uh, count out the prophets. The words were in their mouth when God laid this foundation. And it is because of this that we will see the temples, our temples, be rebuilt and we will see the house of our God stand in a day when they're saying church is unessential. 
their churches might be unessential. They might be taking temperatures and doing all this stuff. They're unessential. But God's church, the body of Christ, the remnant believers, <laughs> oh, no, 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 foul spirit. We are essential. This was such a fun thing that the Lord just dropped in my spirit. I had to share it with you. So may the Lord enlighten you, reveal himself to you in great and mighty ways. May you see the hand of the Lord in what's about to come. Do not fear. It's a marvelous thing. You'll hear him in the thunder. You'll hear him upon the whispers. He is about to roar and he's about to roar loud. Fear not. As in the days of Moses, when they marked the posts with blood of a lamb, a perfect lamb, we are marked with the blood of Jesus. We have nothing to fear. The death angel will pass. The destruction and the attempts of the enemy will be thwarted. And in that, those days, as I've said many times for a long time, the wheels of the chariots of the enemy, God flicks them off and the walls are about to come down upon Pharaoh's army upon the satanic attempts to enslave humanity. This is a time to rejoice. I am so excited. I love you all. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this word. It's from the Lord. I was just sitting here and he's like, get your Bible. I have like three or four different things going on. I was like, okay. <laughs> so anyway, exciting. That's Zechariah 8, 6, through nine. God bless you. I will see you soon. Okay. Love to all. Bye-bye.